Hey, welcome to Technophobics Anonymous. My name is Randy Velker. I'll be your therapist today. We're, today we're going to be looking at the mouse, um, one of the two primary ways that we interface with the computer system. The other, of course, being the keyboard for data input. But the mouse is actually the way that we uh, tell our computer which programs to start, uh, which ones to open, and we, we can modify a lot of the settings in our programs as well. Uh, the mouse is this small device right here. Typically, it has a cord running off, off of it. Many um, mice nowadays don't have any cord at all. It'll just look like this plastic thing sitting there. Uh, one thing that we need to understand about the mouse is there are two buttons on the mouse. Right? One is a, a left button. One of them is a right button. Right. And so as we move it around, right, as we move the mouse around, the cursor on our screen travels around on, on the video screen. You know, we can go over and we can open up. Once we put it over one of the programs, and then we're, we're going to click. And that's going to be a double click, two clicks in a row. One, two, click, click on the left uh, button, and that will open up that program. Double click pops it right open. All right. Now I'll take, it's called the cursor, and it's a little pointy thing here. I'll take it back over to the top, and I'll shut down this program by clicking on the, the X in the upper right corner. Uh, most programs you can shut down by clicking on this X, uh, by the way. Um, uh, I have already opened up uh, a program down here to show you what else this mouse can do. Um, this is a Word document that's been, op been opened up. And now there's a roller ball uh, right in the middle, and I can roll through and look at the different parts of this uh, Word document that I'm working on here. This is another thing. Uh, that's what the roller ball can do on the front of the mouse. <clears throat> um, now, and again, I can go to the upper right-hand corner, click on that. Uh, if I click on this little... Um, Minimize button here. Looks like a line. It'll drop it down into the bottom. Now we'll be getting a little bit more into how the desktop is set up. Right now, I just want to get you familiar with the mouse. Um, <clears throat> I can, uh, with the mouse, again, I'll move. If I move it to the left, this cursor or pointer moves over to the left. So I just get it right over top of whatever I want to do. And if I use the right click button one time, now it's going to give me some information about that program, some things I can do to it. I can run it. I can send it somewhere else. I can cut something. I can create a shortcut to it, delete it. Um, I can look at the properties of it, find out where it is on my uh, system. Um, so there's a lot of things I can do with just a right button. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you um, that you can do with the mouse is you can with your left button, you can go ahead and get somewhere on this uh, program and hook it down. And then you can, as you're holding it, you continue to hold it. You can drag it and you can move it around. All right? So the whole program can be moved around. You can move it right over to the side as you're doing something else um, on your uh, screen, on your desktop. You can go back over to it. You know, move your mouse back over top of it. and click and hold it down and then you'll be able to drag it back around as well. So that's uh, this is basically um, one of the primary ways that uh, we interface with our computer. Selecting programs, telling the computer which program to start, which one to shut down, how to move things around, um, this type of a thing. Uh, hope this has been helpful. Uh, we'll see you next time.